Let's take a short break from talking about directives and turn our attention to something called computed properties. Computed properties are kind of similar to methods, but bring something powerful to the table. Caching. Let's dive into an example and I'll tell you what you need to know as we go along. I have prepared an example which has a counter that we can increment by clicking a button. My full name is also output by invoking a method which concatenates my first and last name with a space in between. I have added an alert to the method just so we can see when it gets called. Running the code will show an alert which is what we would expect because the name needs to be assembled initially. What's interesting is that if I click the button to increase the number, we'll see another alert. This is because methods are invoked every time Vue.js re-renders the template. As you can probably imagine, this is not very efficient in this case, because the getFullName method has nothing to do with the counter, and therefore it's a waste of computations to invoke the method again, since the result will be exactly the same anyways. The solution to this problem is computed properties. Computed properties are functions too, so we can simply rename the methods property to computed in order to turn our method into a computed property. So I'll do just that. I'll write computed here as the object's key. With computed properties, the view instance is also bound to the this keyword within the function. Computed properties are in the same scope as data properties and methods, so we can access them in the same way from within the template. In this example, I have to remove the parentheses because computer properties are used in the same way as normal data properties. So I'll go up here in the template and remove the parentheses. If I had left out the parentheses when using a method, then obviously I wouldn't need to change anything. I will also remove the get prefix from the computer property because we want to use it as if it were a normal data property. So I'll first do this in the template and then within the computed property name here. Let's see what difference it makes. So I'll run the code now. We still get the first alert as we would expect, but notice what happens when I click the button. No alerts anymore. This is because Vue.js caches computed properties based on their dependencies, meaning that Vue.js is actually aware of which dependencies our computed property relies on. A computed property will therefore only be re-evaluated when one of its dependencies change. In this example, the full name is assembled on the initial render. When I click the button, Vue.js is intelligent enough to realize that none of the dependencies of the computer property have changed and therefore it uses the cast value. This means that the function is not invoked again unless a dependency changes, something that's much more efficient than the first approach that we saw which used a method. Let's add a button which changes the name. So I'll go up here, add a new button. I'll say change name as the text and add a click event. I'll call a change name method, which I'll add right now. So I'll add the methods object once again. And here I'll write change name and a function. And in here I'll just set the name to a different value. So I'll say mark and for the last name, I'll say Gonzalez. Whoops, and I'll remove the space. And perhaps you already figured out what happens when I click the button, but let's see. So, nothing still happens when I increase the counter. But when I click the button that changes the name, we see an alert. As I said before, this is because Vue.js recognizes that one or more of the dependencies of the full name computer property have changed. Pretty cool, right? So Vue.js automatically recognizes when it can use the cached value and when it's time to run the function again. 
This improves performance, especially if the code is computationally expensive. Using computed properties is also a performance improvement when you need to perform the same logic multiple times within the template. Perhaps we want to output the full name multiple places on the page. So let's do that. So I'll just make a copy of this paragraph. Running the code, we still only get one alert because the second time the name is to be output, Vue.js uses the cached result. The same applies when clicking the button to change the name, also only one alert. Now had we used a method to assemble the full name in this example, the method would be invoked two times or as many times as the full name is used. This could quickly become expensive in terms of performance if the method did something a little more resource intensive than in this example. Also note that if I click the button multiple times, we do not see additional alerts because Vue.js understands that the values of the data have not been changed even though we assign a value, but it's the same value that we assigned before. So the value has not actually changed. Note that you can also bind computer properties to elements and do other things as you would do with normal data properties. So within the template, it's overall transparent to you that you're indeed working with a computer property. Generally speaking, it's good practice to use computer properties unless you have a reason for doing otherwise. We have seen how we can use computer properties to optimize the rendering of our page, something that's especially useful if you have some resource-intensive code that you don't want to be executed unnecessarily.